सो हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर विनीत सहगल एंड वेलकम टू द न्यूमरो यूरो इन ऑफथर्मोलॉजी टूडे वी विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन ऑफथर्मोलॉजी विच इज स्टीरियोप्सिस नाउ एक्चुअली वॉट इज द स्टीरियोप्सिस स्टीरियोप्सिस इज बेसिकली सींग समथिंग सॉलिड सो लेट से दिस इज अ पेन सो दिस पेन हैज अ हॉरिजोंटल डायमीटर इट हैज अ वर्टिकल डायमीटर एंड इट हैज अ एक्सेस ऑल्सो सो वेन एवर यू सी अ object let's say i am seeing this bottle so this bottle has a some depth so basically means that if we see something solid this means that we are talking about the stereopsis which is called depth perception if i say in hindi so now we can say that hum jo hai wo uski gehrai dekh rahe hain to iska matlab ye hai ki hame stereopsis dekhni hai okay so with this i would be telling you that i would be live in the unacademy learning app and before i start the session i would be just telling you that there are two offers for you which is the 3 plus 1 subscription and 12 plus 2 subscription in both of them if you get a 3 month subscription of the iconic or plus subscription you would get a 1 month free and if you go for a 12 month subscription you would get a 2 month free of this so coming back to my topic that is we are talking about stereopsis which is basically it defined as that we basically see something solid now what is the fundamental of seeing a depth perception of a patient now if you can see that i have made this line like this okay so whenever we see a object okay i am not going into the too much of optical details we call it penum's area of the fusion but giving you just concept so when we see a object it has a horizontal component and it has a vertical component so when you see a object it has you can see both the points here if you can see these points are basically horizontally different from each other kehne ka matlab ye hai ki ye jo points hain ye ek area mein horizontally ek dusre se different jagah par hame dikhai dete hain this is called principle of horizontal disparity if you get my point just give me a thumbs up so basically meaning ye hai ki ek hi area hai this is called penum's area of fusion here the points are horizontally different from each other this is called principle of horizontal disparity and it is basically responsible for stereopsis that is the depth perception now the second point that you have to remember is कि जब भी हमें डेप्थ परसेप्शन देखनी है वेन एवर वी हैव टू सी अर स्टीरियोप्सिस वट इज द एक्चुअली द थिंग दैट वी शुड बी नोइंग दैट वी शुड बी एबल टू सी इट फ्रॉम बोथ द आईज ओके सो दोनों आंखों से हमें देखना है तभी हम स्टीरियोप्सिस देख सकेंगे सो बायनोक्युलैरिटी द वर्ड दैट आई यूज हेयर इज बायनोक्युलैरिटी इज मस्ट वेन एवर वी बेसिकली हैव टू सी the stereopsis are you getting my point now everything in optics or everything in ophthalmology is basically measured for stereopsis we also have a unit of arc before i go to stereopsis why we need stereopsis we have 3d pictures whenever we have 3d games also we have 3d matches also we have 3d movies also so everything in the life that we do basically need a stereopsis basically need a depth perception okay so if the binocularity is not basically maintained if the principle of horizontal disparity it is not basically being obeyed then the patient would have defective stereopsis so jab bhi hame batana hai ki stereopsis hogi we have to measure it with a unit and this unit is called seconds of arc so remember stereopsis the unit of stereopsis is basically a seconds of arc what is the normal stereopsis this is something a point that you have to remember it is basically around 20 seconds of arc if i take a unit a range then it is around 15 to 30 seconds of arc so here we get two important points which can be asked what is the unit of the stereopsis and what is the normal stereopsis in a human person it is if they have given option like 15 20 25 30 then you answer it as 
if they have written as a range then you answer it as 15 to 30 seconds of r is it clear dr ajinkya moniara okay now i told you when i started the session that for knowing about the the stereopsis we need both of our eyes okay so binocularity is a very important or essential component of stereopsis but remember sometimes even with one eye we can have some cues which can basically tell that there is a depth in the picture if you can see this picture just close your eye okay and even after closing your eye you can say that in this picture in the first picture there is a orange boat and there is a green boat and the green boat is behind the orange boat this is a railway line and this area is nearer to me and this area is farther to me this is a chess board in this chess board we have the larger squares in front of us and as we go down there are the smaller squares which are distant from us okay so similarly here they in the sea we have two boats one boat is here and the other boat is farther away here then we have these circles like this where we can say that in the first one the circles have a hollow shape and in the second ones the circle has an elevated shape okay so this is basically even with one of the eye you can basically tell that whether the picture is having a 3d perception or not a very very important point which is called mono ocular cues so binocularity is very important but mono ocular cues are also important in this image now why i need to basically measure the depth perception depth perception as i told you is basically there in our routine lifestyle but whenever we have to test a stereopsis we need some test okay now these tests can be true test or simulated test what is the meaning of true test true test means that when we have to see the stereopsis one on one so what is the meaning of one on one one on one means ki aapne do objects pakde you basically take two objects in your hand and one object is in front of you and other object is basically behind you okay so you are seeing that one object is in front of you and other object is in behind of you basically then you tip basically put the tips together so yahan pe humne kya kiya ki humne tips ko ek sath milaya so what these are do i am doing is i am doing it a true three diopter test but the problem with the true three diopter test is that we cannot tell how much is the stereopsis is it a fine stereopsis or it is a coarse stereopsis so ye bade aasan hote hain but basically ye ye nahi batate ki aapko stereopsis kitni hai 5 10 15 20 40 kitni hai ye aapko true 3d test nahi batate do aap tarah ke true 3d test hote hain the first one is the lang two pencil test jo maine aapko abhi karke dikhaya just i showed you basically keeping both the eyes open putting the refractive status and i join the tip of the pen this is called lang two pencil test and then we have a frisbee davis test i would be just showing you how the frisbee davis test look like so if you can see this is the lang test are you getting my point everyone koi doubt abhi tak so this this is the lang test and the second is this is a frisbee davis test in frisbee davis test you can see the various shapes and these shapes some of them are nearer to you and some of them are distant to you isko hum bolte hain frisbee davis test is it clear dr said dr moniara okay then the second tests are called stimulated test So stimulated test का मीनिंग ये होता है कि जो एक्चुअली आप जब दोनों आंखों से देखोगे तब आपको नहीं पता चलेंगे वेन यू सी इट विद बोथ द आईज देन यू के नॉट सी इट बट वेन यू पुट स्पेशल ग्लासेज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू देन यू कैन बेसिकली नो इट नाउ देर आर मेनी प्रिंसिपल बिटवीन दैट सो द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल इज लेट से यू हैव अ केज ओके केज मीन्स एक पिंजरा इन वन ऑफ द इमेज and in the other image you are having a animal okay so what we are doing is we are seeing it differently and then what we do is we basically see them together ek sath hum ek hi plane pe dal denge dono ko 
so what then what we can see is we can see that the animal is inside the cage are you getting my point so jab hum alag alag dekhenge image ko so we would see a cage and a an animal but when we see it from both the eyes then what we are seeing is that the animal is behind the cage okay so what we are doing is we are basically fusing the two images okay so this may be the principle of the various there are lots of principles i am not going into the details of the principle there is a haploscopic principle there is a anaglyphic principle there is a polaroid classes stereoscopic principle main us principles pe nahi jaunga just remember the name of the test the first one is the using the red green glasses which is called tno test using the polaroid glasses these are the ren dot test and the titmus fly test and we also have the principle of the haploscope which i told you this one which is responsible for the synoptophore test which we use for measuring the stereopsis okay so ek ek karke in test ke bare mein thoda sa hum jaan le so the first one is a vectographic test which is called a titmus fly test so here you can see there is a fly and there are glasses here okay what are these glasses these glasses are called polaroid glasses these glasses are called polaroid glasses and what these glasses do is that they basically cause the images to basically get in front of each other okay so we can see that the fly is basically above the surface this is basically called a titmus fly test and it can basically tell you about the stereopsis okay so it can basically cause a dissociation of images by the polaroid glasses and it causes basically a phenomena through which we can basically tell how much is stereopsis so stereopsis kitna hai ye hame pata chal jata hai titmus fly test ke dwara so remember this was a previous year aims question so very very important is you know each and everything regarding the stereopsis the only problem with the titmus fly test is sometimes the patient is not having stereopsis but still you can basically get a positive titmus fly test so i say that these titmus fly test the only disadvantage with this is that it has lot of false positive in that so basically to avoid these false positive we use another type of test which are called random dot stereograms so what i call i call it random dot stereograms which are called ren dot stereo test now these ren dot stereo tests basically can tell you about both the gross and the fine stereopsis ठीक है तो ये ज्यादा सेंसिटिव है एट्स कंपेयर टू द टिटमस फ्लाई टेस्ट एंड व्हाट इट मींस इज दैट हियर इफ यू कैन अप्रिशिएट इन दिस देयर इज अ सेंट्रल एलिवेशन एंड पेरिफेरल नॉर्मल ओके सो द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट द सेंट्रल स्टीरियोपसिस इज मोर कॉमनली सीन इन द टिटमस फ्लाई टेस्ट बट व्हेनेवर वी डू रेंडम स्टीरियो टेस्ट वी कैन सी द पेरिफेरल स्टीरियो एक्विटी आल्सो so the dot distribution in the stereo tests in the periphery is also identical here like your ren the the titmus fly test they also use a polaroid glasses okay so remember in random dot test as well as in your stereopsis test of the ren dot and the titmus fly both of them use the polaroid glass are you getting my point so polaroid glass dono mein hi use hote hain so jaise ki aap dekh sakte hain these are called random dot tests so these are some having some embedded images here so if you can see in this if you basically wear the glass you can see a object e so e jo hai wo thoda upar ki taraf aa raha hoga this is called distance random stereo test which we use at a distance and we have the near ren dot test also which can tell you about the near stereo acuity the last one which we use in our opd is called tno test okay the full form of tno is the test of netherland organization here basically you use the red green glasses where else you use the red red green glass kisi aur test mein jahan par hum red green glass use karte hain 
so the background is like a red dot test only but what we use instead of the polaroid glass we use the red green glass to dissociate the two image so bahut important point hai yahan par ki humne yahan par red green glasses use kiye hain in which other test we use red green glass we also use the red green glass in the worth four dot test okay so worth four dot test as well as the duochrome test i use the red green glass and it basically can tell you about the stereopsis both fine as well as gross so remember this is such a sensitive test it can tell you about the stereopsis which is from 15 arc to 480 arc okay so bahut fine stereopsis bhi hamara randot test ke through hame pata chal jata hai so i would be just showing you a how a tno test looks like so in tno test if you can see these are the images okay we use these glasses and after using this glass we see the elevated images here this is called tno stereo test so with this i end this session and these are the various important points that you should know about the stereopsis thank you very much for watching before i end the session i would be telling you a bit about the an academy neat pg program there is a limited time offer where the 3 month subscription 3 sorry 3 year subscription you would get in a very low price that is 58500 so this is only applicable for the neat pg aspirants not for the optometrist and the resident so because it has all the subjects there for those students who are the neat pg aspirants mbbs students who want to clear the pg they can go for a iconic subscription which has the plus as well as the prep ladder advantage and you can use the code of thel 10 there also if you are using a 3 month subscription you would get 1 month subscription free of cost if you are using a 12 month subscription you would get a 2 month subscription free of cost there are four batches need pg seasons batch fmg mcq marathon batch target next 2022 batch inict mcq marathon batch which is going on there are lots of lots of questions in the an academy learning app also those students who are subscribing it for the free platform they can also do a lot of quizzes there you can download the academy learning app from the i store and the play store and use the code of thel 10 to unlock the free platform what is the code it is of thel 10 to unlock the free platform and use the code to get a 10% discount on whatever package you want so if you want to go for a 3 year subscription you would get it just for 1250 per month and if you just go for 3 year iconic subscription you would just get it in 1625 per month so as you go for a more duration of the package the lesser would be the per month cost for you using my code of thelta okay so these are some various important announcements that i wanted to make and remember in the plus class you would be having the advantage of the live classes weekly test unlimited access and the structured courses and in the prep ladder you would be having the advantage of the live classes live test and quizzes rapid revision course and video lectures and question bank 2.0 with this i end this session thank you very much for attending it good night and jai hind